Good morning. You're watching The Great British Breakfast with Simon and Kirsty. Let's have a little look at some of today's uh, front pages. Daily Mirror saying energy prices are set to soar after the industry watchdog lifted a cap on charges. Millions face, they say, £150 price hikes in an unprecedented surge in fuel costs. And finally, you fat cow. <laughs> You know, that's your favourite thing I should have waited today, until they it? showed it on screen. <laughs> that, that wasn't good, was it? Anyway, there it is. You fat cow declares the Daily Star front page. But don't worry, it's not directed at anyone in particular, Kirsty. This is the story of cows being kitted out with Fitbit-style step counters to ensure they are on the, wait for it, uh, on the move. We should be asking our next guest uh, what he makes of your brilliant comedy timing. Oh, quite my frankly. God. I'm are we sorry, on? I jumped the gun there. <laughs> <laughs> Could have waited for it. Uh, we are joined uh, in the studio now by comedian Dave Chorner for a, of a look at the stories that will put a smile on her face. And surely that one has really started things off. It's got you going. This is, I mean, this is great. I feel like I've got a first seat, you know, first front row seat view. That was amazing. <laughs> they mistimed the picture. Great. Well, that. you say mistimed. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in a hole, mate, stop. Put the <laughs> no, no, down. Keep, keep digging. This is this is that we have a different policy. Oh, here. Yes, big time. <laughs> what else? What else have you? You've been trawling through these papers to I find mean, some some fun, light-hearted stories. Have you found any? I very you. a lot. So there's a Good. brilliant picture. Uh, a brilliant. It's, uh, it's funny because it's August. Normally, not much in the papers. But thanks maybe to the Olympics, whatever. There's a lot going on. Well, talking about the Olympics, I don't know if you saw that actually in Argentina, a cameraman got so bored of watching the hockey <laughs> that he decided to cut away and did a zoom in of a cockroach that lasted <laughs> no. on TV. I think it was... That is fabulous. I think it was, like, 40 seconds <gasps> or something on their national... A long time. It's a a long time. Especially cockroaches. Like, there are certain animals that I think you could do that <laughs> with, like a cute puppy or a panda, as we were talking about. Well, we're going about. to talk about later as well. Um, but a cockroach... They don't move a lot, Not just for a start. Is he still working for this TV camera? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why, are you asking if he needs a job? Like, is that what... There's also... Oh, cameraman are so last year, <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why you haven't seen a cameraman in here. <laughs> Oh, you're a mate. Like, what's <laughs> wrong today? He's been very naughty today. <laughs> <laughs> naughty, mischie mischievous, shall yes. we say. No, just cook lots of coffee, that's all. Well, speaking <laughs> right. of mischief, there is a woman who's been left baffled because she decided that she'd seen a lot of things going uh, weird in her back garden. She'd noticed some unusual movements. So what she decided to do was install a small outdoor camera under a guttering. She came home to find that there were two cigarette butts uh, cigarette butts on her path by her seating area. She checked her camera and she realised that her neighbours had been using her garden <laughs> while she was out at work for the past three months. Are you joking? No, and she just continued to film them every day. She <laughs> left to go to work and they just went out and sat in the garden. <gasps> just had a lovely time, had a smoke, yeah. had a coffee. Yeah, oh yeah, it's, I think that's absolutely brilliant. Oh, it's fabulous. That's all right. That, that's all right, is it? It's right. not. That's yeah. a legal precedent right there. Simon yes. McCoy says it's fine. Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm not sure about putting what cameras up. garden. <laughs> well, I'm in a basement flat, so good luck with that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> well, also talking about excuses, a brilliant excuse that's out today. Uh, Derbyshire police uh, were caught stopping a woman who was doing 130 miles an hour mm -hmm. on the M1 on Tuesday night. She was only on a uh, provisional licence. She wasn't supervised but she thought that she would get off the speeding offence because she said that she uh, needed the toilet. Oh, come off it. She was caught between two... What was she driving? Uh, she was driving a, a Mercedes G-Wagon. Oh. A rocket? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever she wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think that's really what matters. Um, but, I mean, I 130 mean, miles ooh, an hour. For a wee. For, for a wee, that is pushing it. <laughs> Somewhat, you know, what I mean, I needed the toilet. I don't even have kids, but have you ever done that? Have you ever broken the speed limit to go to the toilet? No, I, I can't say on breakfast TV, but yeah, the point is, the wouldn't yeah, you good, just good if you were that desperate? <laughs> have you ever broken the law? Oh, <laughs> but there are stories of men who. If they've got a little uh, let's bottle move on. there, they yeah. would be in the car. We'll, we'll move on. We'll yeah, move on it's also illegal, but anyway, do you know the difference between illegal and unlawful, by the way? Go on. So one is against the law, yeah. and the other is a sick bird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, OK. 
Oh the, 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 sorry, Dave. Right, back to this. Yes. I, what else have you got? I, I find it very <laughs> funny that uh, two silver medalists uh, have been removed from the Olympics. Uh, I don't know if you saw this story. Um, they were removed from the Olympics after they left the Olympic Village. They're 27, 29. They play for um, Japan and they decided to go uh, sightseeing. But that's what? banned. In their own country? In their own in country. Japan. <laughs> but but in, the, in the city, apparently. So they, uh, they've been like, yeah, they've been kicked out of the Olympics because they're not, apparently, the uh, Olympic, uh, Olympians are not meant to go out and... Well, no, they're not. They're not. So then they just... Well, it's a total to... lockdown, Tokyo, yeah, isn't it? Total yeah, total lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. They just went out for a little... So they thought... ...little pootle around, have a sightsee. I mean, I kind of, I kind of get, like, th you might never be there again. What's the worst they can do? They've but competed. That, but that's it's the funniest their... thing. It's, it's their it's own country. It's Tokyo. You are, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I as mean... you said, they, they maybe are from rural areas, uh, but still, it's not like they're not going to have the chance again. Well, I, maybe this is a, uh, a reason for that, but higher coffee consumption has been linked to smaller brain volume. This is research. Oh, yeah, look at oh, your God, face. I'm not saying. Wow. Well, this well, there's a first. <laughs> research that has come out today, uh, come out yesterday by South Australia University, uh, and it also risks uh, higher risk of dementia as well. This is between uh, participants between the ages of 37 and 73. Those that have more than six cups of coffee a day, that's quite a lot, isn't it? Well, is it? Six. I don't. I actually don't really drink coffee. Do you know what but I, 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 one minute, one minute coffee. coffee's good for you and helps Bruce oh, brain power. And now, now it what? It, 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 it leads to dementia. Uh, Fifty-three percent increased risk of dementia. Right. Quite a lot. Oh, that's really hard. Although, guess how much the global coffee consumption of the world is in kilos? It'll be massive. In kilos. In kilos. I have no idea. Massive. I mean, it would be weird I, if you I did mean, know. That, would, in fairness. It's quite weird you bring it up. Actually. Uh, yeah. I, well, I don't have the answer. I was just asking oh. about. No, I do. No. Uh, it's it's. Not 9 billion kilos oh. a year. I don't know what that means. Can you picture 9 billion <laughs> anything? Like I mean, what, what, what I does agree. 9 billion kilos look like? Yeah. Humongous. Yeah. I think coffee is a widely drunk drink, isn't it? I mean, it might, well, That's, no, that but it is. Breaking story. Well, yeah, no, yeah, Break, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what from I mean, from the statement said, of the. When you said about six coffees a day, I know people that love coffee drink double that. A yeah, well, I love a little coffee. espresso, another espresso, or a. Yes, I don't see anything wrong with that at all. Yeah, how many have you had today? So, it, it, I'm being, I this made you. This is probably my fifth. Is it? Yeah. Fifth? Yeah. Well, how else do you get through the gate? Great British breakfast. I don't know how you get through it, but that's how I get through it. Coffee. Countless coffees. <laughs> well, oh, right. sorry, back to you. No, not at all. I'm <laughs> loving this. Well, I don't know if you've seen a brilliant story in The Sun today that uh, the Queen has launched her own range of dog biscuits. Oh, I Flavoured like with royal venison. I like that a lot. Royal venison? Yeah, Her Majesty's Game Bones. That's what they're called, Her Majesty's Game Bones. They are going to be made from uh, Sandringham Estate uh, in Norfolk. They're, they're going to be based with all of the stuff that comes off there. They're priced at 4 99 uh, a bag. Four ninety nine, and how many do you get in there? I, I mean, I, I, I very short research on that one. <laughs> I, I'm just going to make it. You get a kilo. <laughs> you get a kilo. <laughs> Which, oh, well, it's funny. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, oh dear. I'm, I'm a bit surprised by that. I yeah, I, I do it find that a, a little... bit strange. The Queen. Yeah. Well, also there's another She's story. Bit, but I, I think that maybe because she is becoming very widely known. We, we know she loves. The animals. Queen is becoming very widely Why, known. Another no, <laughs> one there. Widely known <laughs> for her dog love and animal love. Maybe she feels it's important. She wants to to bring share that to the love. Oh, I think it's quite nice. Yeah. Oh. Well, you're not right. get, you're not, you like dogs, do you? Yeah, yeah. Would you invest in a 4 99 pack of, your, no. of the Queen Sandringham no. venison? No. Why? There are other dog biscuits are available. There, there are other. Yeah. I, well, it, speaking of dogs, we've been talking a lot about Tom Daly knitting his. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Have you? He actually knits jumpers I for know. dogs. It's just wonderful. That's the. I, it's, honestly, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. I Is agree. it? I, th I think dogs are better than humans. <laughs> oh, do you? Oh, God. You've uh, got dogs, have you? Uh, well, it's a kind of long story. Uh, we do borrow my doggy. Basically, it's like two oh, different yes. dogs. Yeah. Um, it's have you amazing. heard this? Have you, have you not heard we of have, this? We have just to dog walk. Yeah, you, yeah. Have them no, you can have them for longer. Oh, you can, oh, you, you can, yeah. We're house-sitting for mine. them next week. That's why I'm watching all of these travel restrictions, because we get to stay in a seven-bedroom, multi-million pound townhouse yeah. if, if Greece is on Other it. people call this burglary. Yeah. But no, <laughs> he's calling it dog-sitting. That's why I started with that story of someone installing CCTV. It was actually me. Yeah, yeah I didn't quite know. Uh, yeah. the, the, That's brilliant. 
Oh. I, lo I love it so much. I, honestly, I think dogs are some... People look, travel the country on, on a basis that they, that you really? stay in some amazing places. It's a great because way Because you, you get a name as a trustworthy dog sitter yeah. and people are desperate. Right. Oh, and then brilliant. we've got to talk pandas quickly. <gasps> oh, pandas. Please don't a, forget the pandas. A French zoo. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be our final story. I think this is absolutely adorable. Giant panda twins have been born at a French zoo. Uh, they are 135 oh. kilos, 127 kilos. Oh, look at oh, that. Look at They're the ugliest things on earth. <laughs> you are oh, horrible. Well, they are horrible. Baby oh, pandas. Look them. at them. Look, little... No, no, I agree. No, I agree. The baby panda. No, no, no. Look, no, look, at, it. look at it. The oh, baby no. one is not cute. No, well, it's not. It's an ugly little thing. But I love you. I, I, I completely a lot agree. Of animals look like that when they're born. Mm, no, kids no. look like that when they're born. But, uh, yeah, well, yeah, exactly. And you know, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with Simon's stuff. But it's very good news, though. <laughs> it's good news, though. Conservation. Oh, it's wise. brilliant That's news. The, uh, the apparently, Juan Juan. Uh, She's had babies before, hasn't she? This, this she has. Yeah, yes. It's very rare that they. Uh, that she gave birth at 1 a.m. yesterday morning. Aww. It's actually going to be named by President Xi Jinping's uh, Ping's wife. Um, but yeah, they sort of said that there are now 1,800 giant pandas living in the wild and 500 more in captivity. So good news. It's it, on the boost. it is. It is good news. Yeah. It's it's good news. Oh, they're cheaper yes. to keep. The licenses for pandas are cheaper, you know. Is it because of the panda politics? No, it's because it? they're black and white. All right. <laughs> Oh, you're good today, aren't wanna... you? He's good today, Dave. Well, Dave, he's, he, he, he's a comedian. Oh, no. <laughs> well, some so people beg to differ on that. <laughs> <Yeah>. really, <so. laughs> That's just your audience. Good luck anyway. with your house-sitting and dog-sitting. Thank you very much, I yeah, love this. on I'm my gonna... burglary. But, yeah, I'm so excited And as I about said, any time you want to help me out with mine... Oh, uh, yeah. Like beautiful well up for that. Yeah. All right, be in free, touch. Free button. Which Wonderful. wing? Which wing? <laughs> nice to see you. Nice. Dave, thank you. Wonderful. Right, coming up, scientists say that climate change <laughs> means we'll experience more extreme weather events in our lifetime. We've been uh, reading about this, haven't we, for some time. It's uh, very sad. But how can we protect ourselves from flooding? That's next. <laughs>